All right, guys, back here for a little bit more today. We've got uh, the uh, next day in 1908. What is this? Uh, uh, May 17th. We have the uh, Suburbs, uh, the Suburbs of the Cubs uh, once again. Uh, the Cubs two and a half games out of first place after the uh, Giants managed to uh, win a uh, pretty um, exciting late game. That uh, was at a 12 inning game, if you recall. Um, and Cubs are just uh, sort of hoping to uh, keep uh, pace with them. I mean, that 793 uh, winning percentage from New York is uh, pretty impressive. So, uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. That'll be the game in two days from now. See if they still win. John Hummel leads this off, rolls a 21 for a 30 against Ed Rulbach. It's a fly ball over to uh, Sheckard and left for the first out, one away. Here's uh, Tim Jordan. Jordan's hitting 246. He rolls a, a 66 for a zero. So here we go. Next rolls a, a 34 for an 11. That'll be a single, then a, a stolen base for Jordan, and that'll bring up uh, Tommy Sheehan. Sheehan hitting uh, 267. He's got uh, only six men driven in, and this is where the uh, Superbus have really had problems this season. They have been getting guys on base sometimes, but they just haven't been knocking them in. Sheehan rolls a 16 for a 26 as a ground ball to Evers, who throws to first, and Jordan goes to third, and it's another failure. Two outs. Here's Billy Maloney with a runner on a third, and uh, Billy rolls a 21 for a 30. It's a fly ball to the left, and Sheckard has that for the out, and we go to the bottom of the first. It'll be uh, Frank Chance here for the Cubs. Chance rolls a uh, 26 for a 27. Ground ball left side. Sheehan has that on the first. There's one gone. Johnny Evers now. And uh, Johnny rolls a 23 for a 13 and strikes out. There's two away. Here's uh, Jimmy Sheckard. He rolls a 41 for a 28 ground ball to uh, the shortstop, Lewis, who throws the first. And we go to the top of the second just like that. No score. Harry Lumley rolls a 65 for a 35. There's a little E roll. And it's going to be a 41 out of the range. So that's a pop-up over to the left side. Steinfeld has that one away. Uh, Phil Lewis comes up. He rolls a 33 for a 7. There's another base hit off of Rollbach and uh, Rollbach, and that makes it uh, runner on a first base with uh, one out here for Lou Ritter. And uh, we're going to bunt. I mean, we kind of have to bunt, but with Harry Patty coming up, I'm not sure if this is the right choice. The roll is a 32 for a 26. It's a good bunt to the right side. Chance fields it and flips over to Evers covering at the bag. Lewis goes to second. Two away. Here is uh, Harry Patty hitting 128. He has driven in six. He rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball to Steinfeld, who throws to first. We go to the bottom of the second inning. It's uh, Joe Tinker here for the Cubs, and uh, he rolls a 26 for a 32. Fly ball right field. Lumley's ha uh, got that for the first out. One away. Harry Steinfeld now rolls a 66 for a zero. Harry's next roll is a 23 for a 6. Uh, now there is a chance to uh, get an increase to a home run, but he rolls a 16 out of that little small range. That's a double for Steinfeld, and uh, that'll bring up Wildfire Schultz. First hit of the game for the Cubs, and here they come. Now Schultz hitting only 215, has driven in 12, and he rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball to Sheehan, who throws to first. That's uh, plays, uh, the uh, plays in front of Steinfeld. So there's not much he can do about that, and there's uh, two away. Here now is Jimmy Slagle. He rolls a 34 for a 44. That's a fly ball to center. Maloney's got that for the out, and uh, we'll go to the top of the third. And uh, there's no score. Here's Pistorius, the pitcher. Rolls a uh, 23 for a 13 and strikes out one away. Rollbach has his first strike out of the game. Should have introduced the pitchers by now. Five and three is Ed um, uh, with a 1.49 ERA, 203 the batted against average. Not the ace of the staff, can, but can you tell? Uh, John Hummel rolls a 62 for a 12. There is this little E roll and it's going to be a 16. That's within the range. That'll be an air on the first baseman chance. And so Hummel finds a way to get on. That'll bring up Tim Jordan. Jordan's hitting 252, 281 on base percentage, so we will uh, do a, a bunt. Rolls a 15 for an 8. That's a bunt back to Royal Bach, who throws over to Evers covering at the bag, and Hummel goes to second. Two out, one chance to drive him in. And uh, here's uh, Tommy Sheehan rolling a 24 for a 13, and he strikes out. Number two for Royal Bach, and we go to the bottom of the third. Still no score. Johnny Kling up here now for the Cubs. Now, Jim Pistorius is 2-3 and three this season with a 1.57 ERA. ERA is especially in the National League a little bit low. 218 is the batted against average against him. Kling rolls a 35 for a 9, and uh, there's a hit, so that'll uh, knock up that batted against average a little bit, and that brings up Ed. And, of course, Ed going to bunt. Roll is a, a 62 for a 12. There is a little E roll. We'll see if he gets lucky. Now it's a 55, so not so lucky on that one. It's a bad bunt. Left side, Sheehan throws over to Lewis, covering at second, and Rollbach now is the uh, runner on at first because of the fielder's choice. 
I'll bring up Frank Chance. Um, I don't suppose he'd have an 11, would he? No, of course not. Chance uh, rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. Uh, Jim Pistorius has struck out too, and uh, here comes Johnny Evers. Uh, Evers rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball to center. Maloney's got that, and we go to the top of the fourth inning. Here is Billy Maloney. He rolls a 32 for a 26. Ground ball to uh, Evers, who throws on to first for the out, one away. Harry Lumley now. He rolls a 26 for a 32. Fly ball right field. It'll be uh, Schultz making the catch. Two gone. And here's uh, Phil Lewis. And Lewis rolls a 25 for a 10. That's a single to center field, and that'll bring up Blue Ritter. But, uh, of course, there are two men out. No way to bunt. The rule for Ritter is a 44 for an A. That'll be a ground ball left side. Steinfeld uh, has the play on to first for the out, and uh, we'll go to the bottom of the fourth. It'll be uh, Jimmy Sheckard up here for the Cubs. Uh, Sheckard hitting uh, 252. He rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball to left. Hummel's got that for the out one away. Joe Tinker up next, and uh, Joe rolls a 52 for a 27. It's a ground ball to the left side. Sheehan has it on to first. Two out. And here's Harry Steinfeld. Harry uh, rolls an 11, uh, 16, sorry, for a 26. Ground ball over to uh, Harry Patty, who throws on to first, and uh, we go to the top of the fifth. Here is Harry Patty, over one today, hitting 126. Um, he's on the verge of being cut. Um, and uh, our hero, Harry, um, rolls a, a 31 for a 14 with a little C. Gets the walk and then is thrown out trying to steal one away. That's the way that he was in real life. He'd get on base and uh, sort of run wild and didn't care what happened. I mean, just a kid is what he was, a rookie. Um, here's uh, Jim Pistorius, who rolls a 65 for a 35. Little rolls a 46 out of the range. It's a pop-up over to the left side. Steinfeld's got that. There's two away, and here comes John Hummel. I mean, uh, what I mean by that is you can't really blame Harry Patty for being, like, a horrible player. I don't think he was necessarily, like, major league talent, um, but he wasn't that bad. He just didn't have much of a chance, right? He was a rookie. He was excited. Wanted to go out there and make something happen. Hummel rolls a 51 for a 9, and that's a base hit. And so uh, the Superbas have their fourth hit of the game. Still no score, though. And here comes Tim Jordan. Jordan rolls a 53 for a 19, and uh, that's going to be a single uh, over to third. Misplayed by Steinfeld, and uh, Hummel goes over to second. Runners on at first and second now, and here comes Tommy Sheehan. And we'll see what we can do about this. Tommy Sheehan comes up. He rolls a 55 for an A. That'll be a ground ball left side, and it'll be Steinfeld who makes the play on the first, and uh, we go to the bottom of the fifth. No score still. Here is Wildfire Schultz. He rolls a 25 for a 10 single to center field. That's a ringing single, and that'll bring up uh, Jimmy Slagle. Runner on at first base. Nobody out. Slagle rolls a 16 for a 28. Ground ball to short. Lewis on to first, and uh, there's one away. Here now is Johnny Kling. One out. Runner on second. Kling rolls a uh, 26 for a 27. Ground ball left side, and uh, Sheehan has that on to first. Two out. And here comes Ed Rollbach. <clears throat> so Ed uh, rolls a 56 for a 34. It's a pop-up over to uh, second base, and uh, it'll be Harry Patty making the catch for the out. We go to the top of the six, and uh, this game is uh, getting closer and closer, isn't it? Here's Billy Maloney. Rolls an 11 for a zero, and uh, see if he can go deep, huh? He has three home runs this season. This time he rolls a 22 for a one. There's number four for Maloney. So Billy Maloney gets a home run for Brooklyn, uh, putting the Superbas up one nothing, and that'll bring up Harry Lumley. Billy Maloney. I bet there's a name you probably don't know much about. I don't know much about him either. We better go look him up. Harry Lumley up next, and he rolls a 33 for a zero. And it's a 22 for a 2. as almost a repeat of what we just had. That's going to be a triple to left center. That'll bring up uh, Phil Lewis, and uh, the infield will come in. I know it's only the top of the 6, but it's got to come in. And Lewis uh, trying to get uh, hold of one. And he's going to swing away. Rolls a 36 for a 33. There's a little E roll. This would be a bad time for an error. Rolls a 53. It didn't quite happen. Pop up over to the pitcher, Rollbach, who has it for the out. One away. Infield comes in again for Lou Ritter. Ritter will also swing away. And the rolls a 51 for a 14, and so he takes his base. 24 rock walks this season for Rollbach, who has the W. And so now runners on at first and third. Harry Patty is up there, and the question is, do we bun with him? Do we swing away? What do we do? The infield comes in on him. We're probably not going to hit and run, so that will um, be off the uh, that will be uh, sort of off the table here. Um, a bunt is a possibility, but I worry about um, Patty rolling a 13. I'm just looking over his card, and I can see that there are a couple of danger areas there. I worry about the 13 and maybe the 14 a little bit. 
But, you know, I think we probably would bunt here. Um, we will uh, have the uh, suicide squeeze here, and let's see what happens. And the roll is a 35 for a 36. That's going to end up being a uh, double steal. And so the runner on at third manages to steal home. That was Lewis, and then Ritter steals second. How about that? Bet you weren't expecting that to happen. 2 nothing now, superb is. Patty's still up there. And he rolls a 64 for a 29. That's a ground ball over to first chance, flips over to Rollbach, and Ritter moves to third. Two away. Here now is Jim Pistorius. Now, if he gets the hit, then this game really is out of reach, isn't it? 34 is his roll for a uh, 44. There's a little E roll. It's a 35, not inside the range. Fly ball to center. Slagle's got that for the out. We go to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. Normally, I would say, well, with this Cubs team, you know, any sort of lead um, is in danger, but you never know. They haven't been playing that well lately. Uh, Frank Chance leads this off, rolls a 54 for a 45. There is a little E. Uh, it's a 36, so it's a fly ball to right. Lumley has that for the out, one away. Johnny Evers comes up next. Uh, Evers is hitting 290. He's been flirting with 300 all season. He rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a ground ball over to Harry Patty, who throws the first, two gone. Here now is Jimmy Sheckard, who's 0 for 2 today, 250. Rolls a 31 for a 14. And so there's another walk, or the first walk, rather, given up by Jim. That'll bring up uh, Joe Tinker. Tinker's hitting 262. His roll is a uh, 42 for a 23, changed to 39. That's going to be a caught stealing. And so uh, Sheckard is caught trying to steal, and we go to the top of the seventh. Still 2 nothing Brooklyn. John Hummel comes up. Now, you know, any given day, anybody can beat anyone else. Hummel hits a fly ball to left, and uh, Sheckard's got that for the out. One away. Tim Jordan next. Rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball to right. Schultz has that one. Two away. Here now is uh, Tommy Sheehan. And uh, I think we're just going to call that a 53. It was mostly over on that side. And so that will be a 53 for a 19. That's going to be an error on Frank Chance. Second error on the Cubs today. Here now is uh, Billy Maloney. And his roll is a 35 for a 13. And that's a strikeout. And we go to the bottom, the seventh. So uh, the uh, Superbas do strand one. They've uh, stranded eight so far this game. Cubs have only stranded three. They haven't had a lot of base runners. Here's Joe Tinker. Tinker rolls a, a 62 for a 12. Little E roll is a 32, so it's a ground ball over to Jordan, who goes to the bag himself. One away. Here now is Harry Steinfeld. Let's see if I can roll both dies. There we go. Rolls a 53 for a 19. Change to a 21. That's going to be an error on Jordan, the first baseman. The first error of the game for the Superbas. That puts a fast runner on for the Cubs. That's what they've needed, but he doesn't have that 11. Doesn't make sense to bunt when you're down by two. That's what I say. It's my perspective. Schultz rolls a 12 for a 24 ground ball. Shortstop Lewis over to Patty and then on to Jordan for the double play. We go to the top of the eighth. Maybe my thinking was a little bit incorrect. I might have, uh, it may have called for a bunt there. Go to the top of the eighth inning, and it's Harry Lumley for Brooklyn. Rolls a 23 for 32 fly ball right field, and uh, that'll be the first out. One away, Phil Lewis. Rolls a 45 for a 14. Rollbach has given up three walks today, which is actually pretty good considering that W. That'll bring up uh, Lou Ritter, and uh, this time we'll bunt. Rolls a 16 for a 26. Good bunt, right side chance over to Evers again, and Lewis moves up. Two gone here for Patty. He rolls a 43 for a 29. Ground ball over to first chance, flips over to Rollbach. And uh, we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Jimmy Slagle up here for the Cubs. Time is running out. Slagle rolls a 14 for a 43. Little E rolls a 61, so it's a fly ball to the left. Hummel's got that for the out, one away. Johnny Kling up next. He rolls a 54 for a 45. The Little E roll again is a 33 this time. Fly ball right field, and Lumley has it, two away. That'll bring up the pitcher. We're going to keep Rollbach in. He's pitched well. He rolls a 13 for a 14. He gets the walk, so that's the chance that paid off. Speaking of chances, here he is. And uh, uh, Frank rolls a 64 for a 22. He's hit by the pitch, and that puts the Cubs in a little bit, or the uh, uh, Superb is in a little bit of a lurch. Runners on at first and second. Here's Johnny Evers sitting 288. And uh, his roll is an 11 for a 0. And the next roll is a 23 for a 6. It's going to be a double that'll score 2, and uh, that has tied this ball game. So Johnny Evers gets it done here in the bottom of the 8th inning, and uh, suddenly it's a 2-2 ball game, and that uh, really does kind of change everything. So uh, Evers with the big hit, and uh, that clears him, and that'll bring up Jimmy Sheckard here for the Cubs. Two out, um, bottom of the 8th inning, runner on at 2nd. 
And the roll for Shecker is a 43 for a 29. It's a ground ball to first base. Jordan has and flips over to Pistorius for the out, and we go to the top of the ninth. And the uh, key here is that uh, rule box stays in the game. So uh, the question was if we wanted to take Ed out for a pinch hitter, and we didn't. He got the walk, and it turned out to be the right decision in the end. Now here's Jim Pistorius, and he'll stay in. And he rolls a 21 for a 30. He actually hits the ball, hits it over to Shecker and left for the uh, first out, one away. John Hummel up here now for Brooklyn. And he rolls a 15 for an 11. That's going to be a single and then a stolen base for John. And uh, he is the runner over on that uh, second base now with um, uh, two uh, with one man out here in the uh, top of the ninth inning. Um, and uh, so now your question is, well, what do you do? Do you swing away? Do we want to bunt him over a little bit? What do we want to do here? I think we will uh, have Jordan to swing away. It's probably the easiest thing to do. And uh, his roll is a 13 for a 14. I'm looking over here at my monitor on the other side, and I couldn't see because of the uh, glare. That is a 3. You can see that right there. So Jordan ends up on first base. That'll bring up uh, Tommy Sheehan. Sheehan today is a 0 for 4, um, hitting 258 this season. And look at that. His roll is an 11 for a 0. And then it's a, a 23 for a 6. It's going to be a big double for Sheehan, and that will score 2. It's a 4-2 ball game, and uh, maybe we should have taken that out anyway. So Sheehan gets it done in the uh, top of the ninth inning. And uh, that will bring up, uh, guess who, Billy Maloney, who had that big home run. Uh, his solo home run today, his uh, fourth of the season, and that uh, put the uh, Superbas on top way back in the sixth inning. Uh, Maloney rolls a 16 for a 26. Ground ball over to second. Evers throws to first for the out, and Sheehan moves over to third. Two away, and it's Harry Lumley. And Harry rolls a 44 for an A. That'll be a single, and that scores number five. And uh, that'll bring up Phil Lewis. We'll just leave Ed in and let him pitch himself out of it. He rolls a, uh, Lewis rolls a 64 for a 13. That's a strikeout for Big Ed. And uh, we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Five to two, the Superb is with the lead. And uh, there's only three outs between them and the victory. Joe Tinker starts this off. He rolls a 24 for a 13. Good pitch there by Pastorius. One away. Jim has struck out three. Harry Steinfeld now, one for three today, did have a double, did nothing with it. And he rolls a 62 for a 12. There's a little E roll, and um, it's going to be a 26. So it winds up being a ground ball over to Jordan. The first baseman goes to the bag alone, two away. And uh, that'll bring up uh, Wildfire Schultz, the last chance for the Cubs. And look at that, he rolls a 66 for a zero. He's going to get extra bases here. It's a, a 35 for a six. Now there is an outside chance for a home run. But his roll is a 33, way out of the range. That'll be a double for Schultz, and that'll bring up uh, Jimmy Slagle. Still no reason to worry. Jimmy Slagle comes up there and rolls a 52 for a 27. It's a ground ball over to Sheehan, who throws to first, and that does it. So uh, Brooklyn ends up winning this one 5-2, to two, and um, it was a much closer game than it looks. They have to have three runs in the top of the ninth inning to push it over in the end. That's your final score, Brooklyn 5 and uh, Chicago, too, and uh, that's going to potentially hurt the Cubs, especially if New York wins again. We'll see you in two days with that game. See you later. Bye.